literally stalking Trish now. You watch Trish go in, grab her gear, and out she goes. I got this. What the hell is going on, man? Oh, of course, for goodness sakes. She's been arrested. Officially. And we have no idea where Trish is going or what she's doing. Wait, is she working with... Is she working with him? Oh! The parenthetical says dramatic. What did I tell you about parentheticals? So wow. Cross them out. Every girl uh, is going to be doing a goddamn thing. I miss Dorothy now, but at the same time... else. I don't like the way she forced Trish that. into this life, you know. Your dad's child support barely covers our groceries. I know. Do you? Because I'm not seeing a well, serious effort uh, here. I mean, there's the murder. She's dead. Wait, why are we retracing? Oh my God. He did this. I'm on my way. Why are we retracing? This is so random. Are, are we just basically exploring why she did yes, what she did? He will. Here comes the dark arc. Oh my god, the goosebumps are from the music. Ooh. He did this on purpose, man. Where's Jessica? He wanted Jessica, remember? Ooh. But why would he re she release that though? That's you didn't need the light. crazy. Any other circumstance, I'd be okay with her beating the crap out of someone. Revenge is never good, man. Ooh. And then that's now caught up. Then there's the whole... Oh my god. Okay, let me just say this one thing, guys. Let me just say this one thing. Okay, first things first, guys. That was really... That was actually a really cool way to start, you know, an episode. Basically retracing the act of Trish going after him. You know, the, the act of her finding out and then the revenge, you know. That's what I was thinking, like... I remember saying like there would be a dark arc somewhere for her because of all everything that's been going on. I thought that she was reaching it, and then this sort of would catalyze it, you know, and, and it would it would hit its lowest. It's really cool seeing that actually start because we sort of didn't really see it like we did, but it was like from Jess's perspective. Now this is from Trisha's perspective, and not just that. I remember saying that if, Tr if when Jess stopped her from killing. Salinger, would that result in conflict between the two? And the reason I say that is because it was almost like it was a revenge thing for her, right? Her mother's just been murdered. What's she going to want to do? Kill the guy for it. What's she probably going to do? Kill the guy for it. If someone stops her from doing that, that almost like delays the inevitable. It sets it back. She still wants him, you know? Now, she's going after all these other people, which I don't quite understand because she's killing them, right? Unless somehow they connect to Dorothy, but part of me feels like this is just her now being a hero. So her experience has almost like inadvertently created this issue where her moral co compass is completely cracked. If she, I already thought it wasn't exactly aligned in the first place, but now it's cracked completely because you, you're killing people. It doesn't make you much better than the bad guy, you know? Now her end game will be Challenger and she will not stop until he's dead. I guarantee it. If this dark arc is to reach its potential, you know, where do they always go back to? The beginning. Where did this start? Salinger. Um, and Jess is going to have to protect him, which is going to suck for her. I do believe, personally, these last few episodes, there's going to be serious conflict between Jess and Trish and their motives and what they think should be done. Now, the thing I also find crazy is why has What's-Her-Name helped She's Trish? Good. You know? Or is that out... Oh... Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm pausing it again, but I've, something's just clicked in my head, guys. He's helping her out of guilt, isn't he? Because she blamed him that the mother had um, died because he hadn't done anything about Salinger. Is he now helping her out of regret and out of guilt because of what she's gone through? And this is his heroic arc, but he's almost like put himself in a situation which we know is, isn't good, but he doesn't have a choice now. Is that what that is? He's doing it out of guilt, isn't he? Oh my god, I was trying to think, what's his motive, what's his motive, and then boom, it makes complete sense. This is literally her origin story now, isn't it? This violent offender Gosh, oh my, Hogarth oh, what if she goes after Hogarth? Oh, imagine that. Because not just that, oh wow, wow. She's going to go after Hogarth. She's going to go after Hogarth because Hogarth helped Salinger. 
Just until I get some answers. Just please don't go anywhere. I take it she was going out the whole time, wasn't she? I need those. The line ends back there. She tore her science. <laughs> oh, yes. I really, Smile. really like Dorothy. I know that sounds crazy and yeah. I don't agree with the abuse, but... Good to see you. She's so... Like, the thing is, right, is I really like her character, but then I also hate her character. Like, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. I just love it when she's sassy and, like, you know, Karen. That's what I think is so hilarious. They do enough that I can't do this anymore. Well, she can't do the right thing anymore. That's the crazy Go thing. On. You know what's crazy? How much that line misleads you, you know? Back when we, we heard it the first time, it's like, I can't do this anymore, and you're thinking, oh my god, I knew it. She's thinking of quitting, like, it's too much. Bro, she wasn't thinking of quitting. She was thinking of going, like, Hellcat. That's what she was thinking, you know? Evolving into her final form, almost. You know, the darker side to her. The hell are you doing in here? Ooh. And she Holy got what she asked. Oh my god, man! Oh, Trish, man, I knew she'd get a dark arc. I knew it. What the hell is he doing here? Yes, yeah, see, I told you. Explain. She's mad explain. at him. You want me to? And then she'll use him. She'll fact, use my him. My mother is dead because you're a goddamn coward, oh, Trish. And he'll feel bad and he'll, oh, gosh almighty, I told you, I'm predicting the crap out of that. Yep. And here she is. Ah, does she visit Salinger? That's the question. Does she visit him? I'm sure he's being guarded by goodness knows how many people. I was just passing by. It's alright. You let her through. Oh! And he knows it's her! Why would he let her in? That's the thing, unless somehow he's manipulating her even further. You kill because it makes you feel powerful. Oh, that's your ammo. No. I it's actually think that... Work. Yeah. Your work. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually think he's slightly right, you know. Like, as much as I hate the guy, and I don't trust him, and I think he's manipulative and evil, he's right about a lot of stuff. Like, he does spit facts. I think you kill because it makes you feel powerful. We know that she does stuff to make her feel powerful. We know that she's done that before. I don't think he's wrong about that. And so has he created her? Imagine that. Like she, she, like he just said, you're a byproduct of my work. I left it in the most obvious of places. What is she talking about? You'll find it very honest. I'm so confused. Need to get something of hers. Oh, uh, to remind me. so that's why she went back. What if what he's left her is a record of all the people that exploited herself and her mother when they were younger, and that's who she's killing? Imagine that. Imagine she, for some reason, becomes violent towards Jess. I said I always thought that she may blame Jess. I always thought that she may blame her for what happened, because he wanted Jess, you know. He wanted her. He wanted Jess. He didn't want Trish. And, not just that, but Jess, Jess had the chance to kill him. Jess had the chance to let Trish kill him. All those different things. Imagine, imagine, imagine Jess gets blamed. You weren't born to be a best friend. A best friend is a sidekick. It's nothing. Mmm. Mmm. What is the table read? Of course. There isn't going to be one. So that's where that came Please from. Please getting over chicken pox. I don't want to. Ow! Wow. You take that holier-than-mom look off your face. You know you haven't done everything you can to get that part. Uh, now you star 69 them. Uh, wow. Uh, and there's the photos of the mom. For goodness sakes, man. You absolute sadist. And put it in a memory album as well. Imagine that, right? Imagine she just like, I don't know, obviously she's found it now, but imagine like two years down the line she's looking through memories and she just finds torture images of her mom. That's just ridiculous. Satan wins when the forces of light stand idly by. You see that? All these little lines, you, man, Omar. formulated this hellcat. The first hit, I deserved it. Second one, 
<laughs> put up a fight. You said you wished you could make it right. I knew it. I, I told you. I that. told you. Maybe the same person who you wanted to pummel when you opened the door. Uh, What's he? I can't help but feel the consequences for this action of his is going to be catastrophic for him and Jess. We can get him to admit it on video. It won't hold up. It doesn't matter. I, I, we put it online. It could trigger an investigation. So he's also basically saying it's inadmissible, it's inadmissible, and then what does she think? Boom. I you got any option. You. Kill them. If you get hurt chasing my bad guy, Jessica's going to kick my face in and I'll let Jessica her. is not my mother. See? <sighs> and they just find him, right? If he sees Trish kill this guy and then allows the next one to happen... Doesn't that scream that it's kind of messed up to you that like to the point where if, if the first one happened you're like oh shoot I didn't expect that, that you to do that or go that far boom okay I can somewhat forgive you for doing what you did but if you go to the second one again and then watch that person get murdered like you you just you lose the respect and, and, and the forgiveness you know you lose it or maybe he gets a headache from Trish imagine that imagine the headache starts getting worse and worse and worse and he's got his gun out I bet you be planned on killing him, right? You got a death wish, Gelden? <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't want to watch this. Who the hell are you? Ooh! And she saw his face! Oh. I told you, that's in game, man. It's in game. 19. I did the taxpayers a favor. We got what we need. That's enough. We got what we need. Shh. And she's gonna kill him. Let me guess, did he die on accident? You don't deserve this. Wow! Shit. So the first one was an accident! Uh, we should... Uh... That's not the first time she's done that. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Sorry. Inappropriate. Oh, the headache's gone. No, I didn't That's why, the headache's gone. And he gets happy about it. Okay, so, uh, it appears now that Trish has murdered someone and it seems like Eric's justifying it. He's gone, it feels better, the world's better, this is better, that's better. That's not how it works. And it's not how it should work. Yes, I understand from his perspective why it may feel good doing that. But at the same time, it's not right, you know? It is not right. And of course, the first one's an accident. Second one doesn't look like it's heading that way. I don't know, man. All I can say is this. Trisha's reaching her dark car arc every time I think that she's realizing something's wrong Someone says something or someone around her around her indirectly convinces her that it's right It's almost like she is so fragile to the influence She's so weak to the influence of people around her and stuff that happens That she gets molded like that, you know so easy to shape her motive I honestly think that his arcs a bit different. I can forgive him way easier than Trish simply because What he has right? is horrible and he has to deal with that every single day and imagine when you get a glimpse of what it's like to not have it it's going to excite you it's, you're going to think to yourself this is better this is the right thing to do the scene that we saw at the end of the last episode when he's like oh my god and you can see he's like upset i think he's realizing that it's wrong so i don't pretend i don't really see no way out for him i do however see Jess rejecting him. I, I see that happening because of what he sort of influenced Trish with or helped Trish do. But I don't see no way out for him. I don't see a way out for Trish because she's just getting darker and darker and darker and now she's murdered people and unlike Jess, she had a choice not to. They had the footage, they had this, they had that, the, the other, and they have ways of doing it that don't involve murder. The cops think Jessica killed Nussbaumer. And now he what? knows, so how do they help protect her, if at all? I know. Shit, shit! What if Nussbaumer's killer hit someone else? Well, I'm not gonna kill someone else. You so see? Not kill just to rough up another bad guy. I mean, that's what they do. What bad guy? So maybe Trish just digs herself a hole that she, inadvertently she keeps on digging. She can't get out of because she keeps on digging it. Oh my god. So she went after the other person to give Jess an alibi. To act like the killer's still out there. And that's why he get, walks in and goes, oh my god. Because he didn't want to kill either of them. So he's, oh, I see. Okay, I forgive him completely. <laughs> well, other than helping Trish, but for a lot of it. But 
his... I understand now why he did it. And I understand why he feels like, oh my god, why are we doing this? Because he doesn't want them dead. We've lost too much. I don't want her to lose you too. Come on. Yes. Yes. I like this guy, by the way. He's grown on me so freaking much, which is weird. But if you don't do it, you are being selfish. You hear that? You don't do this, you're being selfish. Change the world. I just want an alibi for Jess. See, that's then... all his motive is. Yes. Part of me. So Jess needs to be somewhere public. Go to a funeral. So where was she when this happened, though? Oh, that's right. She was arrested. I forgot. Yes. And uh, let me guess. They called Trish Bater Jess. You watch. Trish would have baited Jess and then called the police or something. Right. Right. That's the thing I get why I get so conflicted with her character because you can tell she wants the best for her but you can also tell that she's quite abusive. You've been ignoring your calls? Oh! Oh god! ignoring your calls. Oh my god. Wow! So now she knows that Jerry knows but what does that mean? Does Jerry You've now stealing use stealing my her? files? So Maybe she's threatening her. That's I'll a threat. I'm Ooh. about to marry my mother because of you. I will destroy the footage in exchange for a favor that requires what, your gifts. What favor, man? I need what you to steal favor? something from someone. Someone other than me. Oh. I do go after bad people. Remember that? Oh! Bro, what did I say? You know how creepy that is, or the goosebumps you get seeing someone like Hogarth go head to head with someone that's like Trish powered? Did Trish somehow call the cops to go temporarily arrest Jess or something? I don't know, man. Keep walking. Are the cops following me? No, not the cops. Jess. Keep going. Don't look back. You see? Oh, wow. <sighs> I like the music though. Da -da -da. And that's the alibi right there. So that she's doing this for Jess, which is crazy. Which once again leaves in your mind conflict as to what to think about her. And this is it. Oh my god. I'm here to take your confession. You're gonna do oh. it again, aren't you? Oh my god. That's why you bought this. I bet you he's gonna get headache from Trish. I guarantee it. So she wants a confession, but she goes too far, doesn't she? Who's 14? It was accidental. You see? You're worse than Nussbaum. Oh, so she's forcing the confession, and she's just going to keep beating and beating and beating. Look at the dark arc, man. And she sees his face again. Oh, gosh almighty. Is he dead? He... He attacked. We needed him alive. Wow. Jess. So he is dead. Great. What have we? Jesus Christ. I can't believe she's done that. So she's just murdered again. By accident again. Which isn't an accident twice, right? Oh. I mean, that connects the two. Is the world better? Wow. I can make it better. So you that aids it. That I aids it. And this is no, the start of the end. No more. Hey, what are you? I've got this. See how he's getting a headache? What did I say? What did I say? It's Patsy. It's Patsy. <laughs> It's Patsy, it's Patsy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that theme song is proper like, uh, what's it, what do you call it? I don't know. Anyway, that's beside the point. That episode, guys, was amazing. And I'll just tell you why I love that episode so much. And it was almost purely because of the second, almost indirect backstory we're getting. Like, 
connecting Trisha's past and her mother and everything her mum shaped her to be good and bad to the present I thought was absolutely phenomenal how they did that in this episode guys it shows you where the darkness comes from it shows you why it, it continues to catalyze you think after the first person dies you think maybe it would sort of you know die down a bit no she goes full blown it gets worse and worse and worse it catalyzes and we end this episode with the second murder by Trish Walker. Now, the thing that annoys me is it's like, I know there's an end game, and I know she no longer cares about prison. This is about making the world better, which you think Eric has sort of confirmed she's doing. But Eric said it himself. You take one evil out, one another props up, and guess what one is propping up? I knew it from the start, the minute she was getting her dark arc, that Eric would get a headache from her, and it would start to build. And now it's happened. Now what's the bet? He goes and gets Jess for help with this. He goes and explains everything to her. He goes and tells her. He goes and, and says, I'm worried about this. People are dying. I think that's what's going to happen, you know. I don't think he is going to get pulled over the edge. I think it's almost like a drug to him. But he's lived with it long enough to know that almost like he has to resist that urge. Like, just because a drug feels good doesn't mean it's good, right? But he gets that sort of vibe like, oh my god, it feels better. But he knows he can't do this. He can't do it. I wonder what would happen if he was a bad person. Like, what would happen if he did bad things, like like Trish, like, you know? Imagine he just got this, like, never-ending migraine because he was a bad person and he had done bad things and stuff. That would be crazy. The episode sort of changed my perspective multiple times. I started off thinking, like, oh my god, Trish is the dark arc. He helps her, he gets blackmailed. He's gonna be unforgivable, she's gonna be unforgivable. Then it sort of shifted to, like, he only helped her because he felt bad originally. He didn't expect someone to die and even to Trish originally and then he only went and helped her again to help Jess so he's doing it all to give her an alibi because she's being framed for this right the crazy thing is is like I forgive him completely because every single time he's like I can't do this I can't do this but the thing is is how many times can he be exposed to that pleasure if you say of of peace and for it to like catalyze something the same similar to the way that Trish is being catalyzed to do what she's doing as a vigilante but like I said the fact that she's killing people it pretty much immediately makes it feel like she's somewhat of a bad person in a way I have a little bit of a leniency for that simply because I've seen the Punisher <laughs> but the point is that she's reaching a dark point and I don't think it's positive for her for it at least in the immediate next episode, maybe, I don't even know. To be honest with you, I don't see a positive for her at all at the end of the season. What I actually think is going to happen is she's going to reach a point where there's an end game and she goes after certain people. Her end game will be Salinger, and I actually think she may die, you know. Either die or go to prison. Something along those lines. Because when you get to this point of doing this thing again and again and again, like, how do you see a positive way out? At this point in time, I don't see one. Like, all I see right now is... Prison or death. And like I said, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Jess that has to stop Trish um, and there's that more conflict again. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how they do it because uh, Eric's already sort of expressed his hate for whatever's going on, the situation that's going on, he doesn't like it. Uh, I think he'll seek out Jess. I think Jess will then go after Trish and stop Trish well, if she can, if she's not being locked up, etc. Um, and try and help her. I don't think she will want her to die or anything like that, right? Not at all. But like, whether she realises that something's wrong and she needs to do something but what would she do though that's the thing she wouldn't want to send her to prison she wouldn't want her to die are we going to end with another massive death imagine that but yeah anyway guys i'm going to leave that there i've spoken a lot during this reaction i don't have a lot to add now and i want to go watch the next few episodes or the next episode maybe just that i can maybe even finish the series today i'm not completely sure but anyway if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week and as ever guys don't forget to follow my instagram british chat with two peas link in the description below and of course let me know down below what you thought of the episode the reaction and where we currently are in the series and i'd be happy to get some discussion going but yeah guys that's it from me as ever this has been your boy british chat thanks watching and I catch the next one.